All right, this is the last video for the open economy and it is also the last video for macroeconomics, which means that once you complete watching this video on perfect capital mobility and the BOP line, you would have completed the entire introduction to economics lecture series. So congratulations on that in advance. So let's do a quick recap on what it means when an open economy has got a perfect capital mobility. What this means is that there are no barriers or obstacles to move money across national borders to seek a higher investment return. So what does it mean to seek a higher investment return? Well, investment return here simply refers to returns from assets that you invest your money in. So assets could be things like shares or equity, bonds, um, etc. So how do we measure investment return? Well, we're going to be using the interest rates level to determine the level of investment return. So it's quite simple. You just have to use the interest rates. And yes, these are the interest rates that you see on your ISLM model. So you have got I and you have I star. So I not here actually refers to the domestic level of interest rates. And I star over here refers to the foreign level of interest rates. So it's basically the interest rates that are present in other countries, okay, in the foreign countries. So let's say domestic interest rates are higher than foreign interest rates. What does this mean to me as an investor? Well, what it means is very simple. It means that local investment is giving me a high return as compared to the foreign investments. In other words, local investments are going to be more attractive than foreign investment because it gives me a higher investment return. So if I'm a rational investor, what I'm going to do is I'm going to pump all my money into the domestic asset, right? So there's going to be capital inflow from overseas because foreign investors would also want to invest in domestic assets. And therefore, you're going to have a increase in the capital account. Therefore, the change in the capital account is going to be more than zero. There's going to be a massive inflow of investment capital. Okay, so for example, if I had $100 to invest and I have got two options, um, an asset giving me 5% and another asset giving me 10%. So I would prefer the 10% interest rates because it gives me an income of $10 as compared to an income of only $5 if I were to invest my money into the 5% interest rate asset. So what if domestic interest rates are lesser than the foreign interest rate? So what this means is that foreign investment now gives investors a high return. So it makes foreign investment more attractive than local investment or local assets, right? So a rational person would take all this money and invest it into the foreign asset. Therefore, you're going to have capital that is flowing out of the domestic country to overseas countries to invest in those foreign assets. Therefore, you have a capital outflow. So capital flowing out of the economy would mean a dip in the capital account. Therefore, the change in the capital account is going to be less than zero or negative. Now, there's another way that investors can gain on their investment. Well, it is simply from the exchange rate fluctuations um, that can occur between two economies. But you don't really have to know this for introduction to economics, so we're just going to skip that. So capital is money after all, right? And when you've got money flying in and out of national borders, what happens is that your demand and supply for foreign currency will be affected. So let's look at a scenario where we have capital inflow and obviously this is when the domestic interest rates are higher than the foreign interest rates. So your change in capital account will be more than zero which means that your change in the balance of payment is positive because the BOP is the current account plus the capital account. So when capital account goes up, the BOP goes up and when the KA goes down, the BOP goes down. So now that there is a surplus in the balance of payment, what you should expect is that E is going to decrease. Or what this means is that there is going to be a nominal appreciation of the domestic currency. So just let me draw the forex market diagram to show you why E should be expected to go down when there is a positive BOP. Thanks for watching a sample of the Quickonomics online learning experience. We hope you've enjoyed it. We believe that true happiness lies in realizing ambitions and dreams. That's why we make our products specific to your needs. Simple to understand and captivating, so that you can learn effectively while saving time. 
realizing those ambitions and dreams. The Quickonomics online learning experience is a range of supplementary lectures, tutorials, and exam solutions in the form of videos, which you can conveniently view anytime, anywhere. Watching our videos before and after your regular lessons at school, we aim to give you joy in learning and build academic confidence at the comfort of your own relaxed learning environment. So how can you begin? We welcome you to purchase Quickie Dollars to redeem the videos for full access to the Quickonomics online learning experience. Thank you for studying with Quickonomics.